Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. We're in Rivera, Ohio, and we're at the Homeland Cemetery. So we're gonna get right back at it. This is Emmeline, she's the wife of J.C. Wolfren, and the daughter of J. and R. and S. Mill Millen, born June the 3rd, 1831, and died March the 3rd, 1873. She was 39 years and seven months. Then he got this one, and I really can't tell nothing about it, but it's new and a neat different stone for me. There it is. And we can't see much on this one. It's a James on top, that's all I can really tell. But there it is. Then we have Hallock, and I don't know that first name, but 1857 to 1917. And wife, his wife, Rose Palm, 1859 to 1923. He was a veteran of the Civil War. Then we have this one right here. And it's gonna be Dayton, Austin, and that's about all I can tell. That's Dayton, Austin, right there. All right, here's our next one. Here's gonna be Benjamin. He's the son of W, M, and R, uh, Ju Julie Hol Holock, died July the 16th, 1862. Then we have something, the wife of E.S. Holock, Died 1879 on that one. Then we have W.M.R. Holock. Died October the 11th, 1861. At the age of 58 years, Julia Holock, his wife, died October the 31st, 1892, at the age of 85 years. All right. Then we have Lucy. She's the wife of W.A. Edinger. She died January the 12th, 1878, at the age of 11. So it was 11 years and eight months, but I'm not sure on that one. And then, yeah, Charlie, uh, the son of him, died February the 20th, 1876, at the age of three years, and that's on that side. And then you have him on the back, and I can't see it because of the sun, but there it is, right there. All right, next we have Estras Sycamore, died December the 2nd, 1883, at the age of 75 years. El Chesta Lewis, 1848 to 1922. His wife, Mary A. Sycamore, died October the 18th, 1887, at 81 years. And then you got Limeline. Or something like that 1835 to 1918 on that stone right there all right let's move on guys all righty then we have edith and she died in 1861 i think she was born august 22nd it says 1780 and then died maybe may or march the 6th, 1861. I don't know. I can't see it too well. There it is. All right. Here's our next one. This is Alex. Homecomer. He died February the 16th, 1867. I think it says he was 37 years old. Uh, I'm not sure on that one, to be honest with you. I can't see it. I get enough to say. All right. This is Nellie. She was born in September the 18th. 1812 and died February the 3rd, 1866. Then you have, oh, wait a minute, that's their daughter. So there's this, that says their daughters. And here's the other one over here. It's gonna be Lucy. Uh, she's born in July the 25th or something like that, 1811, and died July the something, 1861, I believe. These are hard to see, guys, so if I miss it, I'm sorry. It's what I see. Now, it may not be what it is, but it's what I see. Remember that. Before you want to come on and argue. Here's Joseph Hanford. He died January 11th, 1875. Uh, we done them right there. We done the rest of those. We're down here. I keep trying to go back where I done done, guys. That's crazy, ain't it? Here's Stephen Chapman. 
died April the 1st, 1872. He was 27. Then here's Herman Chapman, November the 20th, 1904 to June the 28th, 1968. Then we have Howard L. Chapman. He's the father, 1868 to 1914. Then I want to get this one stone right over here. And we're starting to get into the newer down there, so we're not going to get those. Then we have Corey G. Chapman, 1866 to 1938. We have Stella Chapman, 1871 to 1909. It's a good looking old stone. And then we have, I'm not sure on the name, 1879 to 1920. Oh, and then we have someone down here. I don't know who it is, but there they are. I almost missed them. And then we got someone down here I missed. Right there. Right there. If I quit flopping the camera around. And there's the other one right there. All right. That's all that's on that stone. Woo! Getting tired. Then we have Shewell, Jared. I've come to the 2nd, 1827 to December 28th, 1898. And Maria, June the 1st, 1830 to February the 8th, 1908 on that stone right there, guys. All right, then we have, oh, this is Rhoda. Anyways, it's Howard, 1868 to 18, I mean, 1914. And then Maud, 1871 to 1957. Their stone has rolled. I'm glad we was able to get it, though. All right, we should be to this one, W.J., I mean, W.W. Johnson. Died February the 11th, 1862. He was 71. Albert Johnson died October the 30th, 1860. He was 27. Then you have Little May, March the 17th, 1879, at three months on there. And I believe that's it. That's all that's on there. Nope, there's one more. Here's R. Johnson. Died April the 4th, 1879, at the age of 54. Yours. All right. Then that'll take us to here. It'll be Hiram, Hiram Brown. Born June the 12th, 1851, and died May the 23rd, 1860. John Brown. Born April the 22nd, 1847, and died April the 26th, 1868. And Wesley Brown. Born March the 24th, 1853, and died September the 22nd, 1871. All in that beautiful stone right there. And then we got back here in the back, we got Lovin B. Brown, born September the 13th, 1823, and died July the 21st, 1909. Oh, we got two more here. Then we have Jacob Brown, born March 23rd, 1818, and died June the 24th, 1885. One more I lied. All right, here's our next one. Here's Harrison, 1838 to 1914, and Mother. 1812 to 1880, and their last name is Purington. All right. That's going to get us to right here. And we're going to check these out. And I'm hoping I got enough room to record these few more in this area. We're not going to see much or nothing on that one. There it is. <laughs> This is Lydia. She's the wife of W. Sewell or Sewell. She died September the first, eighteen seventy-one. Looks like she was seventy-two years. This one here, I really can't tell nothing about. There it is. Ugh. I cut grass, but it's killing me. Uh, there we got this one, and I can't really tell nothing about it either. We got a cool looking stone right here, but it's shoved into the base. And I bet I can't raise it up. There it is. It's a cool looking stone. Shame you can't see how pretty that one is. All right, there's our next one. Uh, don't know the name, but it's the wife of W.M.L. Camp, 1841 to 1912. Then it takes us to here. It's going to be Lacey Camp. Uh, Born January 21st, 1808, and died December 22nd, 1871. 
Then we have Bessie Camp, born in Medford, Connecticut, November the 5th, 1805, and died September, September the 26th, 1897. Mouth's getting dry. Then we got Lucy Camp. She died May the 16th, 1863. She was 80 years old. And then we have Julia. She's the wife of Josiah B. Wimpley, 1833 to 1920. Then we have Charlotte S. She's the wife of David Bernard. Died March the 13th, 1865. She was only 54. Let's see if anybody else is on that stone. Yes. It's going to be Captain David Bernard. He died October the 8th, 1883. He was 75 years old. All right. We got to get this one right here. Oh, wow. It's the first one I've seen with an angel on top toe. Wow. Look at that, guys. I've never seen one of them with that on there. He was a whip, wimp, wimply. Died February the 2nd, 1865 at 71 years. Then we got Sarah. She's the wife of W.M.S. Wimpley. Died April the uh, 9th, 1891 at 65 years. Then we have Captain W.M.S. Wimpley. Died February the 10th, 1881. He was 65 years and 11 months. And then we have Josiah B. Wimpley. Died at sea, age 64 years on that stone right there, guys. And I've never seen one of them with the angel on top. Or whatever you want to say that is. There it is. All right. Hang on just a minute, guys. Okay, here's our next one. It's Lucy Wildman. She died something, the third, 1872, at age 32 years. Then we have a John. He's the son of something Wiseman. And he died November the 21st. It looks like 1862 at the age of 21 years. And he's a Civil War veteran. So he more than likely died in war. All right. All right, guys. Hang on a minute before we move over here. Here's our next one. I've never seen it laid out like that. Look at that. It's got a footstool. And it's got a little thing here. I'm sure it's a child's grave. But that's pretty cool. I can't see to read it. I think they died in 1871. There it is, guys. Is that not neat? That's pretty cool. All right. Let's hang on and we'll check some more stuff out. Well, we'll just put you on there. Okay, the next thing I want to show you, guys, is this receiving vault or mausoleum. I'm not sure which. I believe it's a vault. But uh, there it is. It was built in 1900. Looks like it could stand a good pruning by the looks of it. The cemetery overall is in beautiful shape. That is probably the worst growed up stuff thing I've seen. But there it is, guys. 1900 on this one. Very nice and very beautiful. Be a lot nicer if all that weeds and stuff went up the side of it. But there it is anyways. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get on over here and finish up. All right. We've not got a whole lot more to do. But we're going to get at it. Hold on just a minute. All right, guys, here's our next one. And it's Impus or Simpus or something like that. Ings or something like that. Demeaning, the demeaning and Lois Ladd, his wife. Anyways, him, 1809 to 1895. And her, 1818 to 1908 on that beautiful stone right there. All right. Next, we have... This stone right here. And it's going to belong to Rebecca. She's the wife of Colin James Powell, Powers. Died August 21st, 1882. She was 72 years, 4 months, and 11 days. Let's see if anybody else is on there. There is. There's Mary. She's the daughter of James and Re Rebecca Powers. And she died January the 4th, 1864, at 23 years, 1 month, and 16 days. This thing was made in 1882. All right. And then you have the remembrance of Captain James Powers. Died February the 3rd, 1890, at 80 years, four months, and 22 days. He is a Civil War veteran. Right here. 
And that's all that's on that stone, right there. All right. Okay, here's our next one. It's a Smith, it's Curtis Smith. He's a Civil War veteran. He was born March 30th, 1834, and he died December the 5th, 1907. Adeline Smith, his wife, she was born July the 8th, 1848, and died April the 17th, 1930. Then we have this one, and I really can't see nothing on it, but there it is. All right. Then we have this one right here, and it's going to be Holencombs, Dunning, Edith, April the 19th, 1829 to December the 26th. I want to say 19... I don't know. I really can't tell. The bird poo's in the way. Then we have another one right here I missed. This is Almond. Uh, born April the 12th, 1827, and died September the 15th, 1919. Then we have her age, B Camp, July the 17th, 1825, to May the 4th, 1902. And this is the last one. It's Lydia uh, Olmstead, or something like that, Camp, born April the 1828. October the 3rd, 1913 on oh, that stone. All right. I'm getting too hot. I can't see. Whew. Got to do a few more in here. There's only a few more old ones. The rest of them start getting newer and we're not doing those. Here's Isaac, 1880 to 1911. And Catherine, his wife, uh, died June the 1st, 1890 at the age of 57 years. All right, then we got a good looking stone right here. And that's gonna belong to Lucas Whitley. He died December the 4th, 1890 at 68 years in La Regretta. His wife, 1826 to 1901 on that stone right there. Uh, then we have Anderson and it's gonna be Melton Anderson. 1835 to 1965. Marry his wife, I want to say 1836 to 1919 or 18 on that one. Right there. There it is. Here's our next one. Good looking stone. And I'm not going to be able to see to read it. But I'll hold it there for a second so you can. And there it is. All right. Let's see if anybody else is on there. There it is. I can see that they died in 1891 is all I can see on this one. And I think they were born in 35, 1835 on that one. Oh, and there's somebody over here too. These are hard to see when the sun hits them in a glare. Let's see if there's anybody else. That's it. All right. All right. We got a couple more guys. Then we're going to call her. We're going to call her quits. This is Samuel Karras, born December the 27th, 1823, and died April the 4th, 1905. Then we have Rachel, the wife of Samuel, born June the 20th, 1824, and died May the 26th, 1895. Then we got Dr. W. I. Karras, March the 14th, 1899, age 44 years. And then we have Francis D. Carus, July the 12th, 1855 to October the 16th, 1962. On its stone, right there. Then we have, if I can find a name on it. Oh, it's right here. A.P. Hartle. November the 14th, 1817 to September the 1st, 1892. On that stone right there. Then we have Susan Cross Hubbard, 1843 to 1911 on this stone right here. And she's the only one that's on there. All right, guys. Trying to see what else we can get. Some of these I don't want to get. Here's Elda, 
She died July the 12th, 1833, at the age of 13 months and three days. Bessie died April the 29th, 1840 something, at the age of 10 months and one day. Them are the daughters of S and E Hewing. And then you got Hewing right here. Died August the 3rd, 1894, at the age of 60. Then Mary, his wife, died, I don't know, I think in 1918, January the 31st, I believe. I can't really see it. Somebody visited sometime or another because there's some flowers. That's cool. Alright. Trying to get right over here at this one metal one over here. And then we'll call it done. Bye, guys. That's going to be pretty much it. Here's Edward E. Champion. 1823 to 1909, and Melissa, 1827 to 1912. All right, guys. Oh, get in the shade and ain't got that many to go. This cemetery is really well kept, though. Whoever does the job here does a pretty good job. I'd have to give them credit. And it's going to be Samuel Havrick, born in England, July the 12th, 1828, and died February the 9th, 1919. And that's his last name, Hatrick. And right there's his stone, guys. Very cool looking stone. Let's see if he's the only one that's on there. It's ready to flip over. No, there's actually Elizabeth. And she died July the 21st, 1897, at the age of 64 years. We will meet again, is what it says on the stone. Beautiful flowering around here in this cemetery. Very pretty. But anyways, guys, we're going to get ready to let her go. And that way, we'll be done. Well, we'll hit this one right here. It's a different. I've not seen any like this one except the other one in here. And here it is. It's Charlotte Herbert, born January the 11th, 1820, and died August the 16th, 1898. Riley Herbert, born January the 8th, 1819, and died January the 28th, 1897. Beautiful stone right here, guys. Please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you watching. And yeah, peace. We're out of here.